Hello friends, it is, Netflix is playing in the background so just ignore any sound you hear. Um, it is January 31st and it is a Thursday and I apologize because we had, if you're not from Michigan, we had a blizzard this week. Um, Sub-zero temperatures, like the state is in a state of emergency. They're asking us to turn all our heat down to 65. Like, it's been bad. And I have, I kept thinking like, oh, it's just one more day off work, like no big deal. No, I haven't gone to work at all this week. I've been working from home every single day. Um, this is my dining room table and this is where I've been working. Um, so I've done a lot of content but I don't have a lot of stuff to like share with you guys because I'm not in the rescue and you guys don't want to see me in my pajamas uh, I actually got ready today because I went to Meyer because we needed food um so I I haven't recorded anything and I apologize I should have and I'm sorry um but I will catch you up today. So I'm waiting for Nancy to call me back so I can get started. But I've got a list of stuff I've got to do today. I have made a bunch of events and stuff for events. So I'll catch you guys up on that. Um, but I'm waiting for her to call me back. So I will see you guys in a bit. And I will show you everything I have created this week. Um, and announce March Madness since I can announce that now. March Madness um, tickets go on sale Friday, tomorrow. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, friends. So I am done for the day. I'm curled up on the couch with my kitty, R2. R2 was adopted from Pet Angel. Hey. Hey, look at the camera. Say hi. He's one of my kitties. I also have Jinx. And I don't know where he is. He's epileptic. But you can meet him a different day. So... Um, yesterday I did all the stuff for March Madness, which I'm really excited about. Tickets for that <clears throat> go on sale tomorrow. Um, and how that is working is, um, there is an event on Facebook and we are selling a hundred tickets for the raffle. And each day in March, we will pull out one of the hundred tickets and that person will win anywhere from 25 to $50, depending on the day. Um, and we're only selling 100 tickets, so I start selling them February 1st, which is tomorrow, and I sell them all the way through until I sell 100, and then I stop selling them, and then the raffle begins on the 1st. Um, tickets are $25, so you have the chance to win back your money, plus more, because your ticket is put back in the pot if you win, so you can win multiple times, and last year we had a couple people win more than once, so... That, that's really cool. Um, so go grab your tickets for that. Here is the info, um, the little pamphlet I made on that. And I will put in the description of the YouTube video and the post in the Facebook page of the event so you know how to get there if you're watching this new. If it's new, if it's an old video, wait for next year's March Madness because this is an awesome event. So we do it every year. It's pretty easy. And it's super fun for all the 100 people that get involved. So yeah, here's the information on that. So I did that. I made the event for that. Um, I made the tickets for that. And all of that starts tomorrow. I also started the invites, which I'm not going to show them to you yet. Because I am I just threw an idea to Nancy. And I think I made invites. My friend helped me out. I made some invites. Um, and then I was like... I have a better idea, so I might go a whole different route and make new invitations. It's fine. Um, and I made the event for the auction, and I made the tickets for the auction, and I made all the spreadsheets for ticket sales for all of those. So all of that is set up. Um, I'll also put the event face the Facebook link to the event in the description of this YouTube video and in the post on Facebook, so you can get to those too. Um, and then today we did some Facebook posts. We have to go through. I didn't know that when I do adoptions, I have to mark that a person is an adopter. I kind of thought that the system just automatically did that itself. And we just found out today when we went to go make a bunch of email lists for a new fundraiser that we're going to be doing, um, that I didn't do that. So I have to go through now. Tomorrow I have to print off a list of every single person that adopted and donated to us in 2018 
And I have to go through each and every person and mark what they are in hand by hand. Look up each person by their name, click on them, mark what they are so we can make these email lists. So I'll be doing that in the next couple days, but I can't do it till tomorrow when I can get to the rescue and get that list. So yeah. Um, but I will be going in tomorrow. We will be having at least, hopefully, three adoptions. Um, I have three people who have been waiting for their kitties, and with us being closed now four days in a row, um, they haven't been able to get them. So hopefully they'll be coming in tomorrow. And I have a man who called over the time that we've been closed saying he and his wife want to come meet Alex the cat. So I might have four adoptions tomorrow. And then I'm also open Saturday. So, I mean, we still have two days in this vlog, even though it should have been a six-day week. But it's fine. Um, so, yeah. I am curled up on the couch with some coffee. And my boyfriend and his friend are coming home soon. And we're going to have some cheeseburger cups and some homemade fries. So, yeah. I will see you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow at the rescue. January no it's February 1st happy February uh, it's 10 degrees and my car needs to warm up before I drive and it's very cold outside because we're still in this tundra so I have a giant scarf on um, today's gonna be a very busy day at the rescue as I said yesterday I've been closed for four days um, so I'm ant anticipating on having three adoptions today hopefully um, I know Fred is going home Dodger and Stormy's parents, parents, is that what I can call them? Adopters? Um, I have to give them a call right first thing when I get into the rescue, so hopefully they can come in today too. Um, if not, hopefully tomorrow. And then, like I said yesterday, um, I have a potential adoption on Alex, um, so I'm gonna give them a call. Oh, I can't give them a call. I don't have their number. They didn't fill out an adoption form. So hopefully they come in to meet him today, and he goes home too, so that'd be four. Um, but on top of that, I have to print 100 tickets for the March Madness because those tickets go on sale today. Um, and I want to print off the paperwork or the spreadsheet for that so I can start tracking those. Um, and I need to get a folder set, set up with that. I have to do the drawing of the day um, for the volunteers for the month. Um, each month we buy our volunteers like a gift card or something nice. Um, and then every shift they have, they put their name in a bucket. More shifts they have, the more names there are in the their name is in the bucket. And then each month we draw a name at the beginning of the next month and they win a prize for being such great volunteers. So I have to do that. Um, <clears throat> And then, like I said yesterday, I have to now hand individually go through everybody that adopted or donated in 2018 and select what they are. And our worker with Pet Point, Brady, um, is going to walk me through how to get that list so I can do that. Hopefully, I'll be working on that at home, though, because it's going to be, like, tedious work. And I feel like if I just sit down in my dining room table, I'll be able... I'm going to have to do, like, 700 people. So, if I sit down at my dining room table with, like some Netflix and some caffeine, like a big cup of coffee, then I'll be able to just pump through them in a couple hours. So I'm probably going to just print off the list and bring it home and work on that. I don't know if I'll work on it tonight, but definitely tomorrow and Sunday. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be a, and I have to schedule the rest of the Facebook posts because I haven't been in the rescue and I have to put cats up for adoption. Gabby for sure is going to go up for adoption today. Um, I don't know who else because I have to take inventory of who's there. And yesterday, Terry, our volunteer who does all our vet care, she had surgery on her eyes. So sur so Terry's off for a month. Um, she's having surgery on one eye, and then I think, like, next week or the week after that, she's having her second surgery on her other eye. So Terry's out for the count. So, yeah, I – oh, and I have kittens getting fixed next week. So I have to figure out who's driving them, who's picking them up. Um, when they're leaving, when they're coming back, uh, cages for them to come back and recover in, all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's everything I'm doing today. Today. I mean, I'm working ahead to schedule things out for next week, but yeah. And tickets go on sale for March Madness today, so I can see my breath in here. It is so cold. My car's not heated up yet. I struggled so hard to start. But it is 10.46, so I'm going to be late to the rescue now. But what do you do when your car can't start? 
So I'll see you guys at the rescue. I'm definitely going to be really busy today, but I've got a lot going on. So I'm just gonna whip out the vlog and not care if people are around. Who really cares? I'll see you guys at the rescue. All right, friends, multitasking at its finest. I'm gonna talk to you while working on documents. So I'm talking to you, but I'm looking this way because I have to look at my computer. Also this way because I have to look at dates on the calendar. So lots of things have happened today. This is my list, almost all of it's done. Um, <coughs> so Terry, our volunteer who's in charge of all our vet care, as I said before, she, um, had eye surgery, so she is out. So we have to take, hang on, I can tell you how many cats, if I can find the piece of paper that said how many. Uh, here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cats are getting fixed next week between Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And usually Terry is our driver. This is driving to me. She's the driver um, and she gets the cats to and from getting fixed. But since Terry's out for the count, uh, I guess that makes it my job. So we're seeing if we can find some volunteers so we can stay open because we would need to have them moved while I am open. So I'd have to close. Um, so we're gonna see if we can find some volunteers that'll be able to do it. Um, and hopefully that will be taken care of tomorrow. We can get that taken care of so we can get them fixed next week. Um, Nancy just went to the vet to get some medication that we're missing to ask them about when we pick up, when we drop off. Um, and what was the other thing? That, oh, um, I need to know if I can put Lexi up for adoption because we don't know if Lexi's up to date on her shots. We didn't have a rabies shot for her. So she's checking to see if Lexi has a rabies shot. And if she is, she's gonna go up for adoption. Today, I put Gabby and Penny both up for adoption. If you remember Penny, um, she came in two weeks ago, last week, last week. Um, and so I put her up for adoption um, and she's doing really good. She and I spent some time together. Um, and then I put Gabby up for adoption. Um, we can go meet her in a few minutes. I really want to get this done and explaining everything else to you, but we'll go meet Gabby later today. I pinky swear we will. Um, what am I on? The 20th. Um, so I'm sorry that I'm doing two things at once. It's probably not great to watch me. Um, but I need to get it all done. It's 4.06 and I still have a lot to do. Um, so we've had three adoptions so far today. Um, my first one up was Fred. Um, his new mom picked him out when he was six, so she had to wait a while, um, for him. So she was very excited to finally be able to come and pick him up today. Um, so Fred went home. So yay for Fred, and here is Fred's adoption picture. Our second adoption after that was Stormy. Stormy's family has also been waiting for her for a while now. Um, she was sick when they picked her out as well. Well, they, by, they picked her out and they were talking about coming to meet her, but by the time that they actually like came in to meet her, she was sick. So they had to wait, I think like two weeks for her to get better, same as Fred. Um, so Stormy went home. I have somebody waiting on Dodger, so fingers crossed that they call me back overnight and Dodger will be able to go home. But our, oh, um, I keep forgetting to show you the adoption photo. Here is Stormy's adoption photo. I'm sorry, it was so exciting, but I'm really excited to tell you about the next one. But here's Stormy's adoption photo. Okay, so adoption number three, which was adoption 11 of the year. I'm so excited to tell you all. Jazzy went home. I'm so excited. So I think Miriam called me early last week and she was super excited to, er, to meet Jazzy. She told me like she, uh, Jazz, Jazzy needs help grooming herself. She can't get to her back end, um, which if you saw the video last or er, two weeks ago now um, about Jazzy, you saw me introduce her and how she needs that help. Um, Miriam saw this and she was like, I could do that. And she lives by herself. She doesn't have any other pets. So Miriam was like, you know, I'm not going to take her home today. I'll just come meet her. And she walks in the door and she's like, I have a crate in my car. Let's do this. So Miriam and Jazzy went home and I am so excited for an update from her. They are on their way home. She's from Lansing. So she's driving back to Lansing right now. 
So we won't get an update until a couple hours from now, but she said she'd message me and let me know how she's doing when she gets her home. And I am just, I could cry. This was just so great for me. Jazzy waited so long for a family and she had one and she only stayed with them for 49 days because they lost their home. And it's just, it's so rewarding when you, f when you finally have a cat who just deserves a home so much and needs that, that love and support. And Jazzy needed it. She just didn't want a home and she wasn't a lot of the cats if they have to stay here forever they'd be fine completely honest with you of course we don't want them to but like jazzy for instance she's been here for how long 300 and some days and she loved her life here penny has been here i just looked it up she was here 440 days before she went home last year 440 days and she was fine she was happy and they are happy when they get used to their lives here they have free room rooms they have roommates they have food and water they get canned food they get to play with toys they get visitors every day they're busy like they have good lives here they are paid attention to a lot but jazzy was one that needed a home because she needed structure she needed help in losing weight she needs help in weight management like a diet a regular exercise being set on a feeding schedule where she's only getting a certain amount of food so she can't overeat, um, helping her burn off calories, getting a bath. Like those are things that's so hard for us to do when we're volunteer based. And yeah, you're going to say, Abby, you're the employee. I'm, I'm the office employee. I run the day to day stuff. I'd be glad to bathe kittens, but I'm not going to bathe an 18 pound 12 year old cat unless she really needs it. And uh, although she did need it, she didn't really need it um but we did <clears throat> we did always wipe down her butt it was a three-person job um and i'm just i'm so happy we found miriam i'm so glad that miriam and jazzy found each other and it's just no matter what else happens the rest of the day it was a good day because jazzy went home um but i have stopped doing all this cleaning checklist to talk to you um, I need to finish the cleaning checklist. Then I'm actually, we moved Bob and Marley into Jazzy's old room because Jazzy had her own apartment. And so Bob and Marley are in there and fingers crossed if they, they're very shy cats. So hopefully I'm going to give them the weekend to adjust. But if they're still, if they're doing better on Monday, I'm going to inter try to introduce Penny and see how they will do with a third kitty. Um, they only know each other, but I feel like they'll be okay with her. They're, they were next to Penny's cage in the back. So I think that they're going to do okay with her. And they're all kind of similar. They're all kind of shy. And Penny and Bob kind of look similar because they're both mostly white with a gray tail and little gray spots on them. So I think they'd get along pretty great. Um, so we're going to try that. I will pick you guys back up once I finish these and get them printed off. I'm going to show you Gabby. And then you guys can come sit with me in Bob and Marley's room for a little bit. And we can chat about some stuff. And you guys can watch me number and cut raffle tickets <laughs> um so i'll see you guys in a bit bye so i'm putting together last week's vlog right now and i realized when i was talking about the jazzy adoption that i blew it and didn't say here's jazzy's adoption photo so here's jazzy's adoption photo <laughs> and time for me to leave and I've had a very busy day so I'm excited to go home but I promised you I'd show you Gabby so this is Gabby hi hon Gabby came in when her babies were just one day old and coincidentally today the day Gabby went up for adoption the family that found her and was taking care of her when she gave birth came in to visit her um, and they got to see the babies. They, the last time they saw the babies were when they were one day old. They brought us to them the day after they were born. And so they got to see Grayson and Olive and Gabby today. So that was really exciting, right? Right. Gabby is all medium, long-ish hair, black cat. She's so pretty. She's almost got like gray in her, like up here. But then down here, she's got like a brown undertone. Oh, she's, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was grabbing her tail. I'm sorry. She's just so pretty. I wish you could like see the brown undertone in her. I mean, you kind of can on her tail, but my, my video doesn't do it justice. So that is Gabby. Um, but I'm going to go home. Um, I've got, I'm working tomorrow from 12 to three. So we'll be open. And I know I talked to Dodger's family. They are coming tomorrow. So Dodger will be going home. So we'll have at least one adoption. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot more stuff I've got to get done. 
So tomorrow's gonna be a busy day too. And we'll go over more stuff, but, and I'll show you guys Bob and Marley tomorrow, their new room, once they settle in. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, Gabby. Bye, guys. All right, friends, we gotta talk while I pack up because I need to go home. But it is Saturday, February 2nd, and I have had a super busy and great day. Um, we had three, technically four adoptions. Um, so this morning, as expected, Dodger went home. Um, his family was so excited to have him. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, the boys, they brought... <laughs> He has two little brothers now, human brothers. They brought pockets full of their cat toys and the one was wearing a fake mustache and he was like, I like told him I thought it was real and he was like, oh, what? No, it's not real. He like peeled it back a little bit. It was, it was so cute. They're the cutest little boys and they're so excited with their new Dodger and I called them because they left their gloves behind, which I'm meeting them. They live in Saginaw and I live in Saginaw. So I'm meeting them over there one day and she said that he's already running their house. So Dodger is doing well, and here is his adoption picture. So yay, Dodger. My second adoption was actually Dodger's last brother, um, Pete. Pete had, if you remember, he had like the abnormally small tail. It wasn't a bobtail, it was just short. Um, his new family came in looking for a kitty, and they just fell in love. And... <coughs> Their daughter is going to be such a great cat sister. She was playing with all of the little kittens while we were doing the adoption and she just had a great time and they're a really great family. So here is Pete's adoption picture with his new family. And then lastly, and probably super exciting for the same week that Jazzy went home, um, Bob and Marley just went home. Um, Erica and her boyfriend Seth came in to see a cat and I asked when they walked in, do you want one or do you want two? And she said one. So I didn't show her Bob and Marley and we looked at everyone else. And then while she's filling out her application for a different cat, they went in the room with Bob and Marley and instantly fell in love. And so they don't have any other pets. They're willing to work with the shy cats and they just took them home. And I was just talking earlier about how I thought Jazzy's adoption yesterday was probably the highlight of my cat rescue career. But I gotta tell you, finding Bob and Marley a home was an accomplishment that like has just made my entire day like I honestly would just want to cry right now I'm so excited that we found two shy cats who needed to go home together the perfect home so here is Bob and Marley's adoption so I am all packed up now I'm sorry you had to watch me while I packed up today um but I do have one thing I need to show you before I leave we got a new kitty in over the week, I guess, that I was closed. I think she came in Tuesday um, during the whole polar vortex thing that we had going on in Michigan. Um, Cherry was found on Cherry Street in Vassar, freezing, cold, and hungry. She's a shoulder sitter. So everyone, this is Cherry. Cherry, Cherry, look at the camera. This is Cherry. So I just wanted you guys to meet her. She doesn't want to go back. Go. I just wanted you guys to meet her. Um, she is getting fixed next week. Speaking of next week, we got busy week, friends. We've got 15 cats getting fixed. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And since Terry's on sick vacation, we have volunteers who are doing all the driving. So next week's going to be a week. Mark your calendars for next Sunday because next Sunday's vlog is going to be a good one. Again, I'm sorry that this week's vlog was not super great because of the polar vortex, but I did have a lot going on. We did have a lot of adoptions. What? I did like five adoptions in the past two days. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I have to do some work at home this weekend, actually. Um, I plan on doing it tomorrow during the Super Bowl. <laughs> um... I have to go through individually all of these people, everyone who adopted or donated in 2018 and set if they're an adopter or a donator. Because Abby didn't know she had to do that when she put people in the system. Mistake made. Not going to make that mistake again because this is like 300 people. So yeah. 
I've got stuff to do over the weekend, but I am out of here. It's been a great week, um, even though it's been short, but we've got a lot going on next week with the 15 adoptions. So mark your calendars, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Have a great one, guys. Bye.